everybody. Today I'm finally going to put to good use the Pure Nemo 2 Emotion Body that I bought from the Azon store while I was in Japan. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a body swap. Normally we would call this a head swap, but I'm not really swapping the heads, I'm swapping the body. So I'm gonna go with body swap. And I bought a Leica Chan doll um, from one of the department stores in Japan. I thought she was super cute and she had cats all over her dress. So, plus she, it was a purple dress and she has purple eyes. So I thought she was the right one for me. And I hadn't planned to do this when I bought her originally. What happened is I went to the Azon store in Ikebukuro and I saw they had a like a head on a Pure Nemo 2 body that I saw while I was in the store. Now they may have had the same thing in the Akihabara store, but I didn't see it because there was a lot to see there. It's a much bigger store. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, that'll be perfect. So I got it and I'm gonna do the head swap now. I have got a couple of tools in case I need them. I've got a hair dryer and forgive the, um, this is a beat up old hair dryer, but I like it, it works, so I keep using it. Um, just in case I need to heat a little bit um, to remove the head, I'm not sure because I haven't tried and I haven't really even watched any videos. I thought I would just go into this kind of rogue and try to figure it all out because that's I have fun doing that. I've also got a pair of hemostats in case I need them. And I've got a, this is a paintbrush, but sometimes you need these little sticks for poking. So I've got that too. So what I'm gonna do now is take the body out and try to get her on this new body. And I love the body because it is so expressive and it actually came with a pair of extra high heeled feet, but I'm gonna leave it flat footed for now because she's flat footed. I don't know if this will fit her, let's see. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. But oh yeah, so her little clothes are gonna fit. The shoes are a little tight, but they're still, they work. All right, so trying for the head swap. I'm gonna see, first of all, if I can just pull it off gently with my hands. And, oh gosh, look, perfect. It's the same exact, that was super easy. I didn't need any of these tools at all. Yay, that's awesome. All right, and so now just to put, this is very delicate surgery here, put the head on the new body, and there we go, wow. The neck is a little longish for her. Maybe not. All right, so now I'm gonna get her dressed in her outfit, which is really easy, because these are children's dolls. So got easy open Velcro closures and they open all the way to the back. She's got a little pair of underwear on. I'll skip those for now. And let's see if these big hands will fit through the sleeves. If not, they're pretty easily removable, so. Will they fit these really emotive hands? And yes, they will. So there's one hand in and the other hand in. I'm gonna slide these things out of the way. That was really way easier than I anticipated. I did not think her head would pop off that easily, but wow, did it. Oh gosh, she is so cute. So now she can do all these cute little poses and you know, she can be laying back. Let's see if I can get her, there we go. She can be laying back, calmly reading, and having a nice time, snuggling with her kitty cat. Oh, that is just adorable. I love it. I really love that swap. I think it was great. It was really easy to do. I don't know what I'll do with the Leica body. I'll probably just put it in a bin full of parts that I don't need. But I may eventually use this body for something else. I just thought it would be fun to see how easy the head swap would be. And wow, was it easy. And also because the Leica dolls are, you know, more inexpensive since they are play, play dolls and not necessarily collector dolls, I'm gonna go ahead and remove her well, not her, well, apparently I'm gonna go ahead and remove her head again. I'm just gonna remove the plastic wrap from around her bangs there. There we go. And then let's just pop it back on. So it looks like it might be a little bit of a loose fit, but if you're not pulling and tugging at the head, 
it shouldn't be an issue. And she has a really nice range of motion with that neck joint so she can move her head all around. So that's pretty cool. She is super sweet, you guys, super, super sweet. Well, that was a really quick video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna take a couple of pictures of her so that you can see those at the end to see how cute she is with this body on. And thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.